The thermoelectric effect is the direct conversion of temperature differences to electric voltage and vice versa. A thermoelectric device creates voltage when there is a different temperature on each side. Conversely, when a voltage is applied to it, it creates a temperature difference. At the atomic scale, an applied temperature gradient causes charge carriers in the material to diffuse from the hot side to the cold side. This effect can be used to generate electricity, measure temperature or change the temperature of objects. Because the direction of heating and cooling is determined by the polarity of the applied voltage, thermoelectric devices can be used as temperature controllers. The term thermoelectric effect encompasses three separately identified effects. The Seebeck effect, Peltier effect, and Thomson effect. Textbooks may refer to it as the Peltier-Seebeck effect. This separation derives from the independent discoveries of French physicists John Charles Athenaise Peltier and Baltic German physicist Thomas Johann Seebeck. Dual heating, the heat that is generated whenever a current is passed through a resistive material, is related, though it is not generally termed as thermoelectric effect. The peltier seebeck and Thomson effects are thermodynamically reversible, whereas dual heating is not. Seebeck effect. The Seebeck effect is the conversion of heat directly into electricity at the junction of different types of wire. It is named for the Baltic German physicist Thomas Johann Seebeck. Seebeck, in 1821, discovered that a compass needle would be deflected by a closed loop formed by two different metals joined in two places, with a temperature difference between the joints. This was because the electron energy levels in each metal shifted differently and a voltage difference between the junctions created an electrical current and therefore a magnetic field around the wires. Seebeck did not recognize there was an electric current involved, so he called the phenomenon the thermomagnetic effect. Danish physicist Hans Christian Ørsted rectified the oversight and coined the term thermoelectricity. The Seebeck effect is a classic example of an electromotive force and leads to measurable currents or voltages in the same way as any other EMF. Electromotive forces modify Ohm's law by generating currents even in the absence of voltage differences. The local current density is given by where is the local voltage and is the local conductivity. In general, the Seebeck effect is described locally by the creation of an electromotive field where is the Seebeck coefficient, a property of the local material, and is the gradient in temperature. The Seebeck coefficients generally vary as function of temperature and depend strongly on the composition of the conductor. For ordinary materials at room temperature, the Seebeck coefficient may range in value from minus 100 microvolts, K to plus 1000 microvolts, K. If the system reaches a steady state where, then the voltage gradient is given simply by the EMF. This simple relationship, which does not depend on conductivity, is used in the thermocouple to measure a temperature difference. An absolute temperature may be found by performing the voltage measurement at a known reference temperature. A metal of unknown composition can be classified by its thermoelectric effect if a metallic probe of known composition is kept at a constant temperature and held in contact with the unknown sample that is locally heated to the probe temperature. It is used commercially to identify metal alloys. Thermocouples in series form a thermopile. Thermoelectric generators are used for creating power from heat differentials. Peltier effect. The Peltier effect is the presence of heating or cooling at an electrified junction of two different conductors and is named after French physicist Jean-Charles Athenaise Peltier, who discovered it in 1834. When a current is made to flow through a junction between two conductors A and B, heat may be generated at the junction. The Peltier heat generated at the junction per unit time is equal to wear and is the electric current. The total heat generated is not determined by the Peltier effect alone, as it may also be influenced by dual heating and thermal gradient effects. The Peltier coefficients represent how much heat is carried per unit charge. 
Since charge current must be continuous across a junction, the associated heat flow will develop a discontinuity if and a different. The Peltier effect can be considered as the back action counterpart to the Seebeck effect. If a simple thermoelectric circuit is closed, then the Seebeck effect will drive a current, which in turn will always transfer heat from the hot to the cold junction. The close relationship between Peltier and Seebeck effects can be seen in the direct connection between their coefficients. A typical Peltier heat pump device involves multiple junctions in series, through which a current is driven. Some of the junctions lose heat due to the Peltier effect, while others gain heat. Thermoelectric heat pumps exploit this phenomenon, as do thermoelectric cooling devices found in refrigerators. Thomson effect. In many materials, the Seebeck coefficient is not constant in temperature, and so a spatial gradient in temperature can result in a gradient in the Seebeck coefficient. If the current is driven through this gradient then a continuous version of the Peltier effect will occur. This Thomson effect was predicted and subsequently observed by Lord Kelvin in 1851. It describes the heating or cooling of a current-carrying conductor with a temperature gradient. If a current density is passed through a homogeneous conductor, the Thomson effect predicts a heat production rate per unit volume of, where is the temperature gradient and is the Thomson coefficient. The Thomson coefficient is related to the Seebeck coefficient as this equation however neglects joule heating and ordinary thermal conductivity. For thermoelectric equations, often, more than one of the above effects is involved in the operation of a real thermoelectric device. The Seebeck effect, Peltier effect, and Thomson effect can be gathered together in a consistent and rigorous way. Described here, the effects of dual heating and ordinary heat conduction are included as well. As stated above, the Seebeck effect generates an electromotive force leading to the current equation to describe the Peltier and Thomson effects the flow of energy must be considered. To start the dynamic case where both temperature and charge may be varying with time can be considered. The full thermoelectric equation for the energy accumulation is where is the thermal conductivity. The first term is the Fourier's heat conduction law, and the second term shows the energy carried by currents. The third term is the heat added from an external source. In the case where the material has reached a steady state, the charge and temperature distributions are stable so one must have both in. Using these facts and the second Thomson relation, the heat equation then can be simplified to the middle term is the dual heating. And the last term includes both Peltier and Thomson effects. Combined with the Seebeck equation for, this can be used to solve for the steady state voltage and temperature profiles in a complicated system. If the material is not in a steady state, a complete description will also need to include dynamic effects such as relating to electrical capacitance, inductance, and heat capacity. Thomson Relations in 1854, Lord Kelvin found relationships between the three coefficients, implying that the Thomson, Peltier, and Seebeck effects are different manifestations of one effect. The first Thomson relation is where is the absolute temperature, is the Thomson coefficient, is the Peltier coefficient, and is the Seebeck coefficient. This relationship is easily shown given that the Thomson effect is a continuous version of the Peltier effect. Using the second relation, the first Thomson relation becomes. The second Thomson relation is this relation expresses a subtle and fundamental connection between the Peltier and Seebeck effects. It was not satisfactorily proven until the advent of the Onsager relations. And it is worth noting that this second Thomson relation is only guaranteed for a time reversal symmetric material if the material is placed in a magnetic field, or is itself magnetically ordered, then the second Thomson relation does not take the simple form shown here. The Thomson coefficient is unique among the three main thermoelectric coefficients because it is the only one directly measurable for individual materials. 
The Peltier and Seebeck coefficients can only be easily determined for pairs of materials, hence, it is difficult to find values of absolute Seebeck or Peltier coefficients for an individual material. If the Thomson coefficient of a material is measured over a wide temperature range, it can be integrated using the Thomson relations to determine the absolute values for the Peltier and Seebeck coefficients. This needs to be done only for one material, since the other values can be determined by measuring pairwise Seebeck coefficients in thermocouples containing the reference material and then adding back the absolute Seebeck coefficient of the reference material. Applications Thermoelectric generators The Seebeck effect is used in thermoelectric generators, which function like heat engines, but are less bulky, have no moving parts, and are typically more expensive and less efficient. They have a use in power plants for converting waste heat into additional electrical power and in automobiles as automotive thermoelectric generators for increasing fuel efficiency. Space probes often use radioisotope thermoelectric generators with the same mechanism but using radioisotopes to generate the required heat. Difference Recent uses include body heat-powered lighting Peltier effect The Peltier effect can be used to create a refrigerator that is compact and has no circulating fluid or moving parts. Such refrigerators are useful in applications where their advantages outweigh the disadvantage of their very low efficiency. Temperature measurement thermocouples and thermopiles are devices that use the Seebeck effect to measure the temperature difference between two objects. Thermocouples are often used to measure high temperatures, holding the temperature of one junction constant or measuring it independently. Thermopiles use many thermocouples electrically connected in series, for sensitive measurements of small temperature difference. Thermal cyclers for polymerase chain reaction The Peltier effect is used by many thermal cyclers. Laboratory devices used to amplify DNA by the polymerase chain reaction. PCR requires the cyclic heating and cooling of samples to specified temperatures. The inclusion of many thermocouples in a small space enables many samples to be amplified in parallel.